what is the latest? How significant is this? Well, it just simply means that Fumio Kishida, the former uh, foreign minister, uh, will be the next prime minister of Japan, uh, barring uh, some sort of unforeseen situation. Obviously, the leader of the LDP uh, and their coalition partners uh, in the parliament have that majority. So, therefore, on October 4th, uh, Fumio Kishida will be named the next prime minister. Uh, so, they chose the LDP stalwarts. They pretty much chose policy stability over perhaps some <laughs> uncertainty going forward in elections. Uh, Kishida-san, not necessarily the most popular in the population of Japan, but he is the, obviously uh, the more popular choice within the, uh, the parliament and within the LDP because that vote, the second vote, the runoff with Taro Kono, who uh, lost out on that runoff vote just minutes ago, uh, the final vote there was 257 to 170, so it was not necessarily close. Uh, so, again, when I talk about uncertainty in elections, because there must be a general election by the end of November, and Kishida-san uh, now will have to boost his popular support, uh, which he didn't have. Uh, that kind of went to Taro Kono. The bottom line is here, we likely to see continued uh, policy, uh, the same policies yeah. as Suga-san on monetary front. As, as well as fiscal front, there could be much, much more spending. Kishida-san has talked about 30 trillion yen in COVID relief spending yeah. right off the bat. Is, Stephen, what do we know? So I know he's seen as more conservative. Uh, certainly the person that he was standing against talked about possible legalization of you know, same-sex marriage and things like that. What do we know about policies intervening on the yen? Where does he stand on that? Yeah, well, again, we're probably going to see continued same policies that uh, uh, we saw from Abenomics and Sugasan. Uh, I guess you could probably say more of a continuity uh, candidate like Sugasan was uh, a year ago. Um, and geopolitically, it's an interesting one, too, as well, because Kishida-san has talked about his concern about the rise of authoritarianism in China. He has talked about Taiwan being uh, the biggest or the next big threat facing the region. Uh, he's not necessarily a hawk like uh, Takeichi-san, uh, the, the third place candidate, uh, but still there is concern about North Korea, there is concern about China, and Kishida-san is saying that they perhaps need as well missile defense capabilities in the case of any kind of aggression from North Korea and China.